I'm saying that we're only offering a $30,000 homestead exemption, which is capped. And so why we not cap a tax abatement? It's not about the rich or the poor. It's about whether or not developers can build the buildings, whether or not they can get financing, whether or not the buildings will pencil if uh, the abatement is not available to the people who will uh, live in them. In other words, people make buying decisions based on payment, not based on overall value today. That's how our economy works. Most of Naval Square, probably over a billion dollars of investment in the last 12 years, uh, could not have existed, could not have penciled without the abatement as it is currently in place. Uh, we have two very detailed academic studies that demonstrate the abatement has caused construction and job creation in the city of Philadelphia. And on the other hand, all we have is anecdotal and class warfare based evidence saying that, oh my gosh, people who have a half a million dollar apartment must be able to pay real estate taxes.